The Eyre Peninsula is a triangular peninsula in South Australia. It is bounded on the east by Spencer Gulf, the west by the Great Australian Bight, and the north by the Galler Ranges. It is named after explorer Edward John Eyre who explored parts of the region in 1839–1841. The coastline was first charted by the expeditions of Matthew Flinders in 1801–1802 and French explorer Nicolas Baudin around the same time. The region's economy is primarily agricultural, with growing aquaculture, mining and tourism sectors. The main townships are Port Lincoln in the south, Wyala and Port Augusta in the northeast, and Seduna in the northwest. Topic. Naming and extent The peninsula was named after explorer Edward John Eyre on 7 November 1839 by George Goller, second governor of South Australia. The peninsula's coastline boundary was defined in 1839 as Spencer's Gulf in its whole length, to the Southern Ocean from Cape Catastrophe to the western point of Denial Bay. Its northern boundary was described in 1978 as follows No official boundary has ever been proclaimed, but the common sense choice would be to draw a straight line from Yorkie Crossing to the northernmost point of Denial. Nile Bay Topic. Population As at 30 June 2010, the peninsula had a population of 58,700 people. The region is home to 3.6% of South Australia's population. 2,500 people, 4.4% of the region's population, is estimated to be indigenous. Topic. Economy Topic. Primary industries The major industry is farming, cereal crops, sheep, and cattle in the drier north and more water-intensive activities such as dairy farming and a growing wine industry in the south. Many coastal towns have commercial fishing fleets, the largest being located at Port Lincoln. The town has previously harbored a large tuna fishing fleet, which is gradually transforming its practice to fish farming with the growth of sea cage aquaculture. Oyster farming was established in the 1980s and occurs in several sheltered bays including Franklin Harbor near Cowell in Spencer Gulf and Smoky Bay off the west coast. Topic. Mining Iron ore is mined by Arium in the Middleback Range near Iron Knob, inland from Wyala. Some of the product is smelted to produce feedstock for the Wyala steelworks. Increasing volumes of iron ore are also being exported from Wyala directly to customers in Asia. There is a commercial nephrite jade mine near Cowell, and jade souvenirs can be purchased in the town. The peninsula has many small inactive mines and quarries, and is considered prospective for a variety of minerals, including graphite, coal and uranium with many deposits being proven in recent years. The 2000s saw increased mineral exploration activity on the peninsula. In 2013, some of the more advanced mine development projects included, Ironclad Mining Limited's Wilcary Hill, Centrix Metals Limited's Fusion Magnetite Project and Iron Road Limited's Central Air Iron Project. Shortfalls in existing rail, power and water supply infrastructure continue to hamper new project development. Topic. Tourism The peninsula is being marketed as the seafood frontier in an attempt to showcase the region's fisheries and aquaculture produce. Key products are the southern bluefin tuna and yellowtail kingfish, which are farmed in Port Lincoln and Arno Bay, and Pacific oysters, which are grown in Franklin Harbor and several sheltered bays of the peninsula's west coast. Other seafood offerings include abalone, mussels, prawns and blue swimmer crabs. Many natural heritage attractions can be found in the peninsula's three national parks, in numerous conservation parks, and along the peninsula's extensive coastline. Ecotourism operators offer visitors opportunities to experience many of the region's iconic marine species either in or on the water. From Wyala, visitors can snorkel or dive off Point Loli to witness the mass breeding aggregation of giant Australian cuttlefish which occurs there from May to August each year. From Port Lincoln, tourists can swim in a cage with southern bluefin tuna, with a colony of Australian sea lions, or enter a shark cage to observe great white sharks offshore near the Neptune Islands. 
On the west coast, tourists can snorkel with Australian sea lions and bottlenose dolphins in the sheltered waters of Baird Bay, and observe southern right whales and occasionally humpback whales from the shore or by boat from Fowler's Bay from May to October. Murphy's haystacks are a unique geographical feature, located between Streaky Bay and Port Kenny. Artifacts from the peninsula's pioneer and, to a lesser extent, indigenous heritage can be seen at a network of National Trust Museums, which include the Mount Laura Homestead Museum in Wyala, the Tumby Bay National Trust Museum and the Kapio Smithy Museum. The Wyala Maritime Museum has a nautical theme which commemorates the former Wyala shipyards. Its displays include the World War II Corvette HMAS Wyala, which sits in dry dock and is visible from the Lincoln Highway. Fishing charters are offered departing from many coastal towns, including Wyala, Cowell, Tumby Bay and Port Lincoln. Transport Road Major population centers on the peninsula are connected by a network of highways. The Air Highway route number A1 runs east-west across the north side of the peninsula, while the Flinders Highway route number B100 and Lincoln Highway route number A100 follow the west and east coasts, meeting at Port Lincoln in the south. The Todd Highway route number B90 bisects the peninsula, running south-north from Port Lincoln through the town of Locke to met the Air Highway at Kiankuta. The Birdseye Highway route number B91 bisects the peninsula from Elliston on the west coast and Flinders Highway through Lock and Cleve to the Lincoln Highway near Cowell. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Rail. The peninsula is served by the isolated narrow gauge Air Peninsula Railway which serves the ports at Port Lincoln and the Venard near Seduna. This line is separated from the main system by desert country, and there has therefore never been any need for a connecting link. There are also railways from the iron ore mines in the Middleback Ranges to the smelter and port at Wyala. These are also connected to the National Rail Network by the Wyala Railway Line to Port Augusta. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Proposed future expansion of transport systems. To facilitate prospective mines, new freight corridors and ports have been proposed to export minerals via Spencer Gulf. New port proposals are in place at Port Bonethan, Lucky Bay, Cape Hardy and Sheep Hill Lipson Cove. A proposal to export iron ore from Port Lincoln by Centrix Metals Limited was approved but abandoned after strong public opposition. Port Bonethan Fuels, a future fuel distribution hub has been approved to be constructed at Port Bonethan to aid the development of the mining industry. Once constructed and operational, fuel will be delivered to towns and mine sites by road tankers up to A triple class. <inaudible> water supply Potable water is scarce on the peninsula. Presently, water is pumped several hundred kilometers from the Murray River to the town of Wyala through the Morgan Wyala pipeline. Underground water resources are suffering from gradually increasing salinity. The only reliable surface flows are from the Todd River and its main tributary, Pillawarda Creek, which are captured by the Todd Reservoir. The reservoir was built to augment the groundwater supply of Port Lincoln and was constructed in the early 1920s. It was taken offline in the early 2000s due to concerns over rising salinity and contamination from agricultural chemicals. Sawwater has investigated potential locations for seawater desalination plants to address future water security problems. As of January 2014, no plants are proposed to be built for domestic or agricultural supply, The one currently exists and two have been proposed to serve the mining industry exclusively. The existing plant is located at Wyala and is operated by Arium and plants are proposed for Point Lowly and Lipson Cove to serve BHP Billiton and Centrix Metals respectively. <laughs> Administrative divisions Topic. Local government areas The peninsula includes the local government areas of Seduna, Cleve, Elliston, Franklin Harbor, Kimba, Lower Air Peninsula, Port Lincoln, Streaky Bay, Tumby Bay, Wudena and Wyala, as well as the western portion of the city of Port Augusta. 
The area at the northern end of the peninsula is within the pastoral unincorporated area of South Australia where municipal services are provided by the Outback Communities Authority to communities, including Iron Knob. State and federal electorates The peninsula is within the boundaries of the Federal Division of Grey and the state electoral districts of Flinders and Giles. Regions The peninsula is within the extent of the following two South Australian government regions, the Air Western and the Far North. Conservation Protected areas As at 2016, the following protected areas were located within the peninsula Conservation parks, Ackerman Creek, Barwell, Baird Bay Islands, Bascombe Well, Kalpatana Waterhole, Cape Blanche, Caraloo Bluff, Karapi Hill, Kokata, Karabini Hill, Dark Range, Franklin Harbour, Galler Ranges, Hegadon, Hinks, Ironstone Hill, Kathai, Kelody Bay, Kulaparu, Lake Giles, Lake Newland, Laura Bay, Lincoln, Malgra, Middlecamp Hills, Moody Tank, Mount Dutton Bay, Munyaru, Murinada, Peachna, Pinkawillany, Point Labatt, Purba, Part, Rudall, Seal Bay, Circe Bay, Shannon, Shoke Hill, Sleaford Mere, The Plug Range, Tucknot Scrub, Venus Bay, Varan Tanks, Wanilla, Wanilla Land Settlement, Warminda, Wyala, Whittleby and Yeldulkna. Conservation Reserves, Buckleboo, Cortlinye, Kanyari, Lacroma, Moongi, Mutra, Pinkawillany Reservoir, Pulgara and Tola. National Parks, Coffin Bay, Lincoln and Galler Ranges. Recreation Parks, Caratula. Wilderness Protection Areas, Hambridge, Hinks and Memory Cove Disasters The peninsula coastline is littered with shipwrecks from the 19th and 20th centuries. In the 1920s, seven people were killed during the construction of the Todd Reservoir, north of Port Lincoln. In January 2005, nine people were killed in the major Air Peninsula bushfire. Physiography The area is also known as the Air Coastal Plain, is part of the Air York Block Bioregion, and is a distinct physiographic section of the larger Eucla Basin Province, which in turn is part of the larger West Australian Shield Division. References External links Air Peninsula, Australia's Seafood Frontier, official tourism website Terraserver.com Navigable satellite map of the Air Peninsula Air Peninsula Travel Guide from Wikivoyage South Australia. Com Air Peninsula, Travel Guides, Accommodation, Online Booking